A very good morning to you and praise the Lord Jesus. Welcome to our morning glory. My, my name is Pastor Javan and I'm happy that you are tuned in today. Today we are going to reflect on Psalms 130 briefly as we begin our day. And this is what the Word of God says. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchmen for the morning, more than um, watchmen for the morning. Israel, O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. This is such a beautiful psalm, and um, the psalmist here talks about how he called upon the name of the Lord when he was in the depths. He was, you know, um, at a low time, at a low moment in his life. And he's saying, out of the depths I cried out to the Lord. I called unto the Lord. And he says in verses to O Lord, hear my voice and be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. And I know this is a prayer that we ought to be making every other time, that the Lord will hear us as we cry unto him, as we seek his face, as we, you know, uh, call upon his name. He's a merciful God. And the psalmist said, O oh Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. Then he goes on in verses 3 to pray and, you know, uh, to ask, if you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O oh Lord, who could stand? If the Lord was to count our iniquities, it is in the many times that we have strayed away from the truth, the many times that we have done that which is not right, the many times we have disobeyed him, the many times we have doubted him, the many times that we have... Um, you know, dishonored him and chose to ignore him and even um, took idols into our hearts the way Ezekiel said that, you know, these people have taken idols in their, into their hearts. If only the Lord could count the number of times we don't put our trust in him, but we put our trust in other people. We put our trust in the resources that we have, in um, even the money that we have and the connections that we have. If the Lord was to mark our iniquities, who could stand? But then he goes on to say, with you, there is forgiveness that you may be feared. That's one thing that I love about the Lord. Yes, the Lord is just. The Lord is, you know, um, holy and perfect in his holiness. He doesn't just, you know, uh, stand um, or rather um, ca cannot be uh, able to dwell with sin. But he's a merciful God that we can call upon him every other time when we know that we have strayed apart and we have done that which is not right. We can always call upon him. And the psalmist says that with him, with our Lord, is forgiveness. There is forgiveness in him. That's why Jesus came and died in the cross to set us free. And everybody who believes in him and who calls upon the name of the Lord, the word of God says that you shall be saved. Again, in the book of 1 John chapter 1 from verses 9. John writes and says that if we confess our sins, he is ready and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So you don't have to, you know, um, feel uh, bad because you sin. Yes, it's good to be grievous because of our sins, to grieve our sins and to repent before the Lord. But don't feel you're not worthy. Because our God is merciful. When we call upon him, we approach his throne of grace. He is the Lord who is able to supply his mercy and even to forgive us and cleanse us from every kind of sin, from every kind of iniquity. And the psalmist in the second half of this psalm, um, chapter 130, says, I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and in him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. He says, I will wait for the Lord. My soul will wait for him, and in his word I hope. Three things to pick here. Wait on the Lord. No matter how long it takes, no matter, you know, I know there are seasons we go through in life and we feel as if things are not working out the way we expect but this is something we can learn from the psalmist. Learn to wait on the Lord. He says, my soul waits for him and in his word I hope. 
Dwell in the word of the Lord. Glean those promises in scriptures and hold on to them. As the watchman waits for the morning to come, wait for the Lord. Because we know that one thing, um, God is faithful and in his own time he will fulfill his promises. He goes on to say, O Israel, hope in the Lord. Don't hope in the things, temporal things of this world. Put your hope in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. Because with him there is steadfast love and with him is plentiful redemption. As we wait upon the Lord, we have this promise that in him there is steadfast love and with him there is plentiful redemption. And he will redeem us. He will always be at work in our lives as long as we put our trust in him. So remember this. Anytime you feel you have strayed away and you have dishonored God and you have sinned against God, always plead for mercy. He is faithful and just to forgive you. The second thing, learn to wait in the Lord and to put your hope in him. Whatever God says in his word, he will do it because he's a faithful God who is dependable and reliable. So wait on the Lord and keep holding on to him. Let's pray. Our Father and our Lord, we pray this morning that you may help us, Lord God, that whenever we have strayed apart, we will remember your word, that your word tells us that you are a merciful God and you are a God who doesn't, Lord God of glory, um, look at us based on how sinful we are on you know, the, the, the magnitude of the sins that you have committed. But any time we come before you with humility and ask for forgiveness, Lord, you are faithful and just to forgive us. Lord, I pray that your people will be reminded of the sacrifice that Jesus Christ paid on the cross for our redemption. And Lord, help us to always live in light of what you have done for us. Lord, I pray that you may help each and every one of us to be able to stand and to be able to wait on you, to hold on to you. Even when things are tough, even when seasons are difficult, help us that we will always put our trust in you. I pray for each and every one of us, Lord, today as we uh, engage in whatever thing that you're going to be doing. Lord, may you bless the work of our hands and help us, God of glory, to always hold on to the promises that are in your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because we know that you're good and you're faithful. It is in the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. And have a wonderful day today. Remember this Sunday we have our service. Make sure you are here at 7 30 in the morning or at 9 30 in the morning. May the Lord bless you so much and have a wonderful day.